Let's move on to the final stage described in the ITIL Lifecycle publication, Continual Service Improvement. Continual Service Improvement, or CSI, aims to deliver business value by focusing on realizing benefits from implementing the service lifecycle approach. So what is the purpose of CSI? The purpose of the CSI stage of the lifecycle is to align IT services with changing business needs by identifying and implementing improvements to IT services that support business processes. These improvement activities support the other lifecycle stages, service strategy, service design, service transition, and service operation. Over here are CSI's objectives. First, to review and analyze service level achievement. Next, to identify and implement specific activities to improve IT service quality and to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of the enabling processes. Another use of CSI is to ensure that applicable quality management methods are used to support continual improvement activities. And finally, we use CSI to understand what to measure why it's being measured, and what the successful outcome should be. So, we've covered the purpose and objectives. Now let's discuss what's included in the scope of CSI. ITIL Continual Service Improvement provides guidance for a few key areas covered by CSI, such as the overall health of ITSCM as a discipline, continually aligning the service portfolio with current and future business needs, and the maturity and capability of the organization, management, processes, and people utilized by the services. To implement CSI successfully, it's important for you to understand the different activities that need to be applied. Here, I've listed for you some of those activities. First, reviewing management information and trends to ensure that services are meeting agreed service levels. Second, periodically conducting internal audits verifying employee and process compliance. Third, proposing recommendations for improvement opportunities. Fourth, conducting external and internal service reviews to identify CSI opportunities. And last, measuring and identifying the value created by CSI improvements. Adopting and implementing standard and consistent approaches for CSI will add value to the business in two ways, as listed here. First, CSI ensures that IT services remain continuously aligned to business requirements. And second, CSI identifies opportunities for improvement in all life cycle stages and all processes through monitoring and reporting. Let's start by explaining some important terms and concepts related to CSI. First one is CSI Register. Let's take a look. The CSI Register contains important information for the overall service provider, and it should be held and regarded as part of the Service Knowledge Management System. The CSI Register will introduce structure and visibility to CSI, ensuring that all initiatives are captured and recorded and benefits are realized. The CSI Register provides a coordinated, consistent view of the potentially numerous improvement activities. The CSI Manager should have accountability and responsibility for producing and maintaining the CSI Register. Another important concept is baselines, which is really a starting point for any improvement activity. Now a baseline is a benchmark that can be used as a reference point. The key words here are benchmark and reference point. Let's consider these terms with a few examples. So an ITSCM baseline can be used as a starting point to measure the effect of a service improvement plan. Similarly, a performance baseline can be used to measure changes in performance over the lifetime of an IT service and a configuration management baseline can be used to enable the IT infrastructure to be restored to a known configuration if a change or release fails. 